In the ring, Samoa Joe is an intimidating and dangerous opponent, but outside all of that, he is a massive fan of video games. Come to the power game. <laughs> Come to the power game! He has frequently made appearances on Xavier Woods' YouTube gaming channel, Up Up Down Down, expressing his love for video games. But some of you might be surprised to learn that he's actually voiced a few characters in video games. One of them being a brash and aggressive fighter known as The Beast. We're not talking about Brock Lesnar. In Telltale's episodic adventure game, Game of Thrones. Walk away. One, two, That's not the only voice acting work he has done, as Samoa Joe also provided the voice for the Juggernaut in Dota 2's Fall of the Bladeform Legacy expansion. The jabroni beating, pie eating, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, electrifying people's champ, The Rock, has featured in two non wrestling video games. The first one being The Scorpion King. Rise of Akkadian, and the second one being Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. The Scorpion King Rise of Akkadian was released in 2002 for the Nintendo GameCube and PlayStation 2, and served as a prequel to the film The Scorpion King, which was The Rock's first leading role in a movie. Hey DJ, how was your day today? What'd you do? I just went down a big water slide with a naked girl. It was a good day on set of the Scorpion King that day. Let's just say the game was as bad as the Scorpion King's CGI in The Mummy Returns. What is that? What is that? What is that? The 2006 action racing game, Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run, released for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox, wasn't any better either. You were in the game too. Yes, right? I was in the game. Yeah, Spy Hunter. Classic Midway game. I'm still loving my 3 out of 10 review from Game Informer, by the way. 3 out of 10. Okay, okay guys. That's all right, fine. The piss. Okay, that. fine. As his nickname implied, Rowdy was one word to describe Roddy Piper, as he loved to run his mouth. I could slam you myself, but I don't tell you saying John Stuckard at 520. He was also known for being controversial, especially with his Piper's Pit segments. Now tell me, tell me about Poland. <laughs> well, what, what would you like to know about Poland? Uh, why did you leave? Well, I... Uh, uh, let's forget that. This made him a perfect fit for the Saints Row universe. Dressed in his signature kilt and hot rod shirt, Rowdy Roddy Piper appeared as himself in the fourth title of the Saints Row series, Saints Row 4. In fact, he has an entire mission devoted to him, and his character's dialogue was even voiced by Piper himself. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm President of the United States. So fuck you. Sure. Why not? During a fight scene in the mission, Piper uses several wrestling maneuvers, including his finishing move, the sleeper hold. At the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal event, it was announced that Ronda Rousey was the new voice of Sonya Blade, and what better person to fit Sonya Blade's badass character than the baddest woman on the planet? Nope. Well, not according to fans of the franchise, who criticized Rousey for her lifeless voice acting. Get out of Earthrealm, Shao Kahn. Oh, what, woman? How about I show you? But as a lifelong Mortal Kombat fan, that didn't stop Rousey from embracing her inner Sonya Blade at WWE Elimination Chamber 2019. In the video game, Sonya Blade even uses the rolling Judicatami armbar, the very move that Rousey uses to rip arms off of her opponents. Fatality. Put this man in Gears of War. Zylon Williams, I love you. Come on, dude, let's do this. I've been I've been begging for this part for years. This is my destiny to play to play Marcus Phoenix. Batista has made it no secret that he wants a Gears of War movie to be made with himself 
cast as the franchise's protagonist, Marcus Phoenix. While nothing has come to fruition as of yet, Batista, along with his fanbase, managed to grab the attention of the Gears 5 video game developers. Do I have your attention now? As a result, Batista was officially added into Gears 5 as a multiplayer character, donning the armor of Marcus Phoenix, and as the animal himself said, it's about time. <laughs> Not only does his character look badass with his signature Hollywood shades, but Batista recorded over 700 lines of dialogue for his character. Give me what I want. Give me what I want! And during his actual announcement shoot, he couldn't contain his excitement. Yes! Sorry. <laughs> As Batista said himself, he's destined to play the role of Marcus Phoenix, even if that meant he had to demand for it. Give me what I want. Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Yes! <laughs> 